You compare Umar and who stayed to our state today. As long as we don't come into the masjid, we hate everybody who comes to the masjid. As soon as we start coming into the masjid, we hate everybody who doesn't come to the masjid and we hate everybody else in the masjid who doesn't think like us. I think that we are going to go straight to Jannah. I'll give you my delil for that. Because we think that it's our God-given right to frown on other people. And that's the, my delete upon that people. Soon as they start coming to the masjid, they believe that they have the right to frown on other people who don't come to, to the masjid. You should do the shukr of Allah that He allows you to come to the masjid. And you should have a concern for humanity. You should call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But nothing gives you the right to think that you are better than other people. Do you know what the first sin of shaitan was? I know what you're going to tell me, pride. But where did his pride emanate from? It emanated from the fact that he thought he was better than Adam alayhi salatu was salam. And it's a reality that those people that you frown on today, tomorrow they may be better than you. Allah may deprive you of the ni'mah and the barakah He's given you and He may give it to them. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that in the Israelites there was a lady and her entire life she spent in prostitution. And upon occasion she was by a well. And she was drinking some water and she saw a dog, a thirsty dog. And she descended into the well. She took off her, uh, her tights. And then she drenched it into water. And she came up and then she squeezed it into the mouth of the dog. And as a consequence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave her. As a consequence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave her. I remember one bazurk saying, I wish I was that prostitute because at least her maghfara is guaranteed. At least her maghfara is guaranteed. And you look at us, really, if Allah gives us the ability to pray, we think that we have the God-given right to look down on other people. Understand that tomorrow Allah can deprive you and give them hidayat. And you look into the life of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. Umar upon occasion, he came to Hudayfa radiallahu anhu. Hudayfa radiallahu anhu was that sahabi who was known as the secret keeper of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he came to Hudayfa. These people were people who were concerned about their iman. They were concerned about their hereafter. And he came to Hudayfa. And he said, Hudayfa, tell Umar. Is the name of Umar on the list of the manafiks? Hudayfa radiallahu anhu had the list of the manafiks. And Umar is saying, Hudayfa, tell Umar. Is his name on the list of the manafiks? Because these people were concerned about their hereafter. And you compare them to us, really. The way we carry, go on, like if we are guaranteed Jannah. Allah has given us the permission to throw other people into Jahannam. This is not your duty or not my duty. This is the duty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He guides whoever He wishes. And He leads astray whoever He wishes. 